Hi, my name is Eliana Aguilar. I'm from uh, the Buenos Aires Rojo Sangre Film Festival. Hi, Eli. Uh, Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we are from Argentina. You have a great fandom there. And we have the honor to have your film Thanksgiving as a premiere in Argentina in our film festival. So why now Thanksgiving? Because you have the last 10 years, different kind of experimentation on your movies. You have a thriller, you have a, even a fantasy for kids. And why now Thanksgiving? Well, I wanted to go back to my roots. I missed it. And I think after Green Inferno, um, which I had an amazing time shooting in Chile and Peru, um, I was bled out. I had sort of done all the killing and blood and guts. I, I needed to recharge and expand and, and start to make larger budget movies and working with stars like Bruce Willis and Kate Blanchett and now Kevin Hart and Jack Blatt and Jamie Lee Curtis. And I loved it. I had an amazing time, um, but I missed it. And I've been watching horror movies and sometimes you'll see a movie that inspires you. But really, I, we didn't have the script right. You know, I didn't want to make Thanksgiving unless Jeff Randell was my best friend and our co-writer, unless we had it great because we have very high standards for slasher movies. When we see a slasher movie, like the last great one, I, I mean, there's Scream, Mute Witness, you know, Halloween, the classics, My Bloody Valentine. But a lot of horror movies that I see today um, aren't as good as the ones that were made earlier. I, I miss them. I, I feel like some people strive for greatness, but most of them are like good ideas that don't make it all the way through. And so I really wanted to make a great, you know, what I would think would be a great film, we, we, we just spent a long time working on the script and we finally got it right. And the time came up where horror movies are red hot and I just, I wanted to. I wanted to go back and throw my hat in the ring and try and achieve greatness and make a horror classic. It's up to the public to determine whether I have or not. This movie has some spirit, uh, almost like the Final Ladies and early 90s. Uh, slasher movies, pre-scream movies, that kind of movie that you search on the VHS store. But between the coming fever and now, with all the your career and all the elements, because you are a um, director, producer, actor, you have a lot of elements in your career. Which elements evolve between coming fever and now Thanksgiving? Everything evolves. I mean, certainly acting more and acting under Tarantino and Sam Levinson, it's always going to change the way you approach directing. It's always going to make you a, a better director in some way. So um, obviously as a producer, you get more experience. And as a director, you know, they, they, I believe in the 10,000 hours theory that to master something, you need to spend 10,000 hours doing it. The, uh, Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book about it where how the Beatles to play, you know, you, you need to spend 10,000 hours. And now after 20 years, I feel like I've got my 10,000 hours. So I understand how to deal with problems. I really know how to be, be an actor's director. I know how to work with the makeup department, the cinematographer. I know how to tell everyone they're wrong in a way that doesn't offend them. So you, you gain a certain amount of mastery when you're older. You know, you think you're not, it's like all the things you needed 10 times the energy to do you just become more efficient. Like the first time you drove a car, you're so nervous to get in the highway and, the th and then you're now you're doing 50 things driving your car at once. So you need that focus to make it great and you're constantly challenging yourself, but you have that mastery and there's a certain calmness that you have where I know that I'm gonna work harder than everyone. I'm up at 4.30 in the morning, I go to the gym, I work out, I go to set, I'm like on it. And I, I know my shots and I'm really prepared. And I know when actors don't learn their lines, and I make sure that everyone is ready and I know how to help them through problems and how to help them achieve greatness. So it's obviously cabin fever. You're just, we were scrambling just to get the movie done and it's your first time and you're so excited. But you know, this is, I've done nine feature films and a documentary and produced a lot and produced a lot of television. So I just, I understand it. It's where I feel comfortable. Okay, the last question. We have a very newly directors on our festival. 
which advice you can give them about make the first movie, their first short film? Make it unique, make it great, and there's no excuse for white walls. That when I watch a movie, look at Dasha Nekrasova's movie, The Scary of 61st. She painted every set. Look at Eraserhead. David Lynch painted every set. That's why it's interesting. You're creating a world. Think of your frame like a blank canvas. And every character, all the clothes they wear, what you're wearing, the shirt I'm wearing, the chair you're in, your SpongeBob pillow, these are all aspects of your character, just as this shirt is an aspect of my character. So those are things that don't require budget. They require thought and detail. And that's what makes the movie a world, is all those little details that matter. It's the posters on the wall. And white walls, I see as a sign of laziness. It feels like they haven't really thought it through. And I don't mean you have to wallpaper it. You can paint it, you can put up a picture, you can do anything. But no white walls in the movie, unless you're making severance and you understand that that's what it's about. I just, and I mean that as a metaphor, for really think through every detail of every character and make it your own and make it great. Thank you a lot, greeting from Argentina. Thank you so much.